One more will definitely put me up in the numbers to be able to buy the next item. Ooh, okay. Ooh, the shoddy. Ooh, I didn't see him, and that scared the shit out of me. Forty-two dollars. All right, Are you looking for a job? I don't need the job. knees All that Satan brought you to me. What? It's install. Satan told me to dig a grave for you. He said the grave should be under a colossal mound of stones. Listen, man, I don't care about any of the beliefs. Get off. 
Satan told me that you need money and help me to fill a few graves in my cemetery. Well, I do need money. What do I have to do? I have pre prepared three graves for three Stanley brothers. Because Satan told you to? Right. And tonight, the Stanley brothers will attempt to exhume their father and rip off his gold teeth. And you know that because... You know, at first I thought you were a smart man, Mexican. I'll spell it out for you. S-A-T-A-N-T-O-L-D-M-E. All right, here we go. We're going to fill these graves. Dog. I got six shots. Three dogs, three humans. Perfect. It. Satan is glad to see you your job done. How did you outrun me? Satan showed my showed my way. Yeah, sure. Get off now. What do you want, Mexican? Something that would knock me out. Choose whatever you like. Today's Spirit Friday. All alcoholic drinks are mixed with spirits in a ratio of two to one. Bottle of tequila, then. Take it. Just don't start any firefights here. Do you say that to all the boys or just to the handsome, most handsome only? Only if I've seen their mug hanging on a post next to the word wanted. Murata, Bill had ratted me out. Whatever, I don't care. Just don't stain my floor with blood or I will go and call the sheriff myself. Opens the bottles and drinks it. Allergies just kicked in. To play the melody. Oh, oh. I know your mug, amigo. Sit down. Don't be afraid. Let's drink together in honor of sunny Mexico. He drinks from a beer mug. Yeah, let's drink, gringo. Where do you know me from? He drinks from his bottle and crinkles. It's strong. Of course, I always drink rum here on Fridays. You know where do I wake up on Saturday? Anywhere. Haha, <laughs> yes, damn it. How did you know? I am. <clears throat> I am. Just very smart, but you didn't answer my question. Answer what? Wait a second. You, so what should I have answered? How do you know my face? Ah, oh, I tell that to everyone. It makes it easier to relax and chat. He. <laughs> That's good because I'm. Go I was going to shoot you. Stares back in shock. You should see your face. Ha ha, gringo. It's a joke, amigo, right? Ha ha ha. What a great guy. Let's try f and find out where we can have a little fun in this hole. Do you see that guy? He might be able to help us. Minus Tardis, stranger. We're trying to find some entertainment here. Oh, dang it, I skipped it. Hey, wake up, Vanquisher of the West. Genevieve's about to call everyone for the morning prayer. You'd better not be here when she comes. Uh, where am I? You're a drunkard, and you're in the Holy Seminary of Prioress Genevieve. Genevieve. Your friends brought you here yesterday and paid for you to stay the night. My head, I don't remember anything. How much did I drink? I don't care, just get out. Genevieve doesn't like morning visitors, but come back in the evening. Who are you? Me? I was just about to leave. Oh, non. Don't even try to avoid the conversation, Monsieur. 
Otherwise, you'll find yourself conversing with the lead shot of my pis pistolet. Easy, ma'am. Easy. I was with the nun for, uh, what do you call it here? Repentance? Oh, did you pay for it? Mon cher, I saw Lumiere yesterday in the evening and heard the noise, but if you don't pay, I shoot you. Understood, understood. You'll shoot me from your pistolet. I didn't, I think did. I think did. At least your nun didn't beat me while I was leaving. I will let you go if... <clears throat> I will let you go if you agree to repent in front of one of the most experienced nuns. Um, yeah, sure. Son, Nam Maline, she is not very old, you know, but she is so lonely. It's so, it is so si ma vase. Okay, let me go home and get my money, then I'll come back to meet your Mylene. Oi, oi, I wait and be honest with me. Wanna share? Do, 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 do. Killing a couple of bonitos. Uh oh, here it is. Twelve is better than six. I see you've got a barrel. Need the second one? Piece. Price thirty-four. Got it. Reason to earn any more money now. Is there anything else I need to do here? Mister, mister. Mister, mister. What? Who the fuck are you? Who, what? Who the fuck are you? Wait, I've hired you myself. Did you find something? One second. This kid looks beat up. Mister, I have another answer for you. A gang of Mexicans in dark clothes have just broken into a warehouse on East Street and are loading boxes on the train right now. Just in, just in time. Do they already shoot out near? Do they already shoot out near the station? Is a sheriff there with the military? Yes, it's a real massacre there. The Mexicans brought a machine gun and are holding the street. They'll finish with the boxes soon and leave. I need to hurry then. Do you know a shortcut? I grew up in these slums. Of course I do. I must have to shoot this person. So what do we have here, Sheriff? It's a real war out here. These sons of bitches robbed our weapon stock and are trying to cart it off onto the train. Meanwhile, we can't even get close to them because of all their fucking machine guns. Wait, who the hell are you? Calm down, I'm here to help. Three of my boys are lying dead in the square outside the station. You'd better not be wasting my time, Mexican. I'm going to try and get round behind them. I'll give you a signal as soon as I'm finished with the gunners. What do you think? You don't have to risk your men this way. And what do you want in return? I have to talk with one of the banditos, so I need at least one of them to be kept alive. If you can stop them, I'll give you my blessing to fucking marry them for all I care. Alright, here we go. Weapons. First thing is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I carry... Nope. Okay, we'll go with this. Oh my goodness, stop shooting. Oh, I see what happens. You click left, it shoots that one. You click right, it shoots both of them. I like the long range, but we'll stick with this. Oh my goodness, stop that. Oh my.
Hola, amigo. Welcome to sunny Dallas. Anything that just happened there. You're not an amigo to me. How the hell did I end up here? Welcome to the world of modern technologies, amigo. While you were driving the train full of weapons and your Mexican friends, we were informed by telegraph that you were almost on our doorstep. Unfortunately for you, we couldn't stop the train, so we derailed it instead. You're lining a pile of debris. Wait, do you even know what a telegraph is? It's kind of a magic discovered by the white demons. We used to talk with ghosts. Do you understand, Gringo, that for every time you mock me, I will cut off one of your limbs? I really doubt that. We are going to be friends because you went to live, Jesus, don't you? How do you know my name? I had a friend once. He was a ranger from Texas. He told me about a band which caused chaos all along the Mexican border about five years ago. They like to wear black clothes and their ringleader, Jesus, had a very noticeable tattoo. But then a miracle happened. The sick bastard was deposed and the band calmed down. Five years had have passed and suddenly here you are, wandering around Texas, killing your, own bandito, killing your own banditos. So I put two and two together. And, and, and I understand that we have common aims. Now move, the sheriff wants to speak with you. You'd better have behavior, I will have to intervene. Thank you. It's easy enough. Welcome, Jesus. I have just been released from a cage. Let's drop the pretense, Sheriff. Suits me. You weren't a deep ass, Jesus. Jesus, our almighty justice is looking for you. For, I quote, the brutal murder of a soldier in the Alamo Tower. That's an outrageous lie. I also heard that the son of General Johnson, one of the cruelest, most unforgiving generals in the country, was among those killed. He is now personally dispatching patrols to try and track you down. The military? Not a big deal. Most of them can barely put their pants on the right way around. Is that so? Well, I suppose you're partly right, but what about the Union of Indian Tribes? It's rumored the gray, that Grey Ox is searching high and low for a Mexican who has managed to stay alive in spite of Grey Ox's warrior's cruelty. Those warriors were punished to death, yet without the Mexican. I don't think he could tell one Mexican from another. I had no hand in it, no mistake. And how did the peaceful pilgrims displease you? News comes from the West that someone killed the prophet of a new religion. Excuse me. Faithful have started a crusade for the head of a man with a tattoo exactly like yours. Peaceful? Those bred an army of dogs which they fed with the bodies of those who didn't believe in their crappy prophet. It was a pleasure to send that messiah back to heavenly Jerusalem. I don't think I'm getting my point across. You're a dead man, Jesus. If not them, th then others will find and kill you before long. Currently, you have just two allies, me and my assistant. Why would I? Why would I, either of you help, want to help me? Because we're on the same side trying to stop your former band. They're plotting something big, but we don't know what. We only know they've acquired a lot of firepower recently. Disrupt their plans, and I will find you not guilty. Declare an amnesty for you, and let you leave Texas alive. What if I say no? Can't you see the gallows outside my window? No. Reconimara. So you agree? Perfectly, yes. I know a ranch west of San Antonio. That's their foothold in Texas. Well, you had better get going then. If you need anything, take it from my armory. It's down the corridor. Yeah, give me some weapons. I don't need... Um, I didn't like the double barrels, really. The repeater rifle. Reminds me of the Winchester and PUBG. Guy wants me to make some money. I don't know what I would buy though. I have all the power ups. Welcome, my name is Mia. I'm the owner of the Caber Cabaret. Cabaret? What would you like? Cabaret what? Cabaret, it's French. We put on performances here, mostly just girls singing songs and dancing. So is it like a brothel? Oh, God, no. This is a well-respected place. I demand a proper behavior from my clients. Ha ha, sure. Did you hear that? Mud, mud, mud mug. Just yesterday, one of our of waitresses was trying to hit on me. Firstly, shut up, Mickey. And secondly, you must have confused a guest for a waitress. 
So, mister, what do you want? Food and water. And a couple of cheap whores, am I right? Ha ha ha. Mickey. Yeah, that's me. Shut up, Mickey. I don't want to waste even one boat on you. Even though who I am, I will drown you in your own shit. Dear Lord, why did you shoot him? He wasn't behaving properly, was he? Get out of my cabaret. Alright, I didn't shoot anybody though. Bucks? Why would I earn a couple of bucks though? It's not really nice. Off to Texas we go. Ranch. Fancy shooting there. Whoops. Cake. Hey, stranger, remember me? I heard rumors that you were being sought up again. How did that happen? Things are much worse than before if we are to believe my new friend from Dallas. Apparently, I've got all the gun owners of Texas after me, Pitt. I need your help again. Anything you need, pal. I need first-hand information, a few people to help me out. First find Sergio from Loretto. He trades in Gatlin guns and knows a lot of bandits around here. Then an Indian drunkard who should be wandering between bars in Houston with a spider on his shoulder. They've escaped from Greyox's camp. Finally, a Chinese miner named Chatao. I rescued him from a mine. We got separate, but those like him don't go from labors. Far from labors. I expect you'll find him in Albuquerque, doing the worst work in town. I can do all that, but it will take some time. You'll have time while I'm destroying Bandit Ranch to the west of San Antonio. And how are you going to do that? With the help of my very own Gatlin gun. Come from the ranch. 